let's get started so this is a super quick demonstration i will walk you through the project structure so we have the app folder that contains the next js application and app auth has the root.ts which is a catch all api root that handles all authentication requests that is api auth sign in and sign up and they get passed to beta auth handler so here api auth has the root.ts file which includes beta auth then we have the dashboard url that is protected dashboard page only authenticated users have access to it it verifies the user's session before rendering so essentially dashboard is the authenticated protected page we will demonstrate and we have a scripts folder that contains the entry point for the application and also it creates the initial database migration we will use sql lite to keep it simple but the initial user tables etc are created using the scripts that is there in the scripts folder start.sh script which is present in the scripts folder so here beta auth cli migrate is what is going to create the initial database and we have the simple docker compose.yaml we are mounting the sqlite volume for the database later on you can upgrade this easily by switching to postgre sql now to add beta auth to your application what you need to do is you need to npm install the library create this auth.ts file to initialize beta auth so inside lib we have auth.ts file that has the code to initialize beta auth so here we have uh, two function one is to create a new user when they sign up another is search for a user by email when they log in then we have the sign in page then we have the sign in page and the dashboard page in dashboard page we are using auth api get session to check if user is authenticated so inside dashboard page.tsx so here we are getting the session from beta auth and if it is not there we will redirect the user back to the sign in page that is it database migration is there in the start.sh we have the docker file and this is how we start the application i have already started the application to save time i will provide the complete blog article for you to see how simple it is in the description okay so let's quickly browse so this is the public page and it has linked to sign in and uh, dashboard and if you click on dashboard if we are not already signed in it will it will redirect us to the sign in page that is what we saw here inside dashboard page.tsx if there is no session it will redirect us to the sign in page 